On today's episode, I'm gonna tell you a little story about a client of mine who had a really hard last year. And I'm also gonna give you a peek at my vision board. But first, let's get into today's episode. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. Whatever it is, we're gonna create it right here on Go Time TV. Recently, I was talking to a special client on the phone and this particular woman had a rough year last year. <laughs> she experienced some big setbacks. She had some disappointing business launches. She lost some money. Her confidence got rattled and it just was not the greatest year for her. And so she told me, I am so ready to leave all of the disappointment in the past. I do not wanna carry this into the next year. I wanna let it go. And then she said, I'm ready to stop wallowing and get back into world saving mode. I love how she phrased this. Stop wallowing, back into world saving mode. Hell to the yes. Look, we all have disappointments. It's part of being human. And maybe you launched a brand new product and it doesn't sell as well as you'd hoped. It happens. It happens for new business owners and super experienced people too. Maybe you've got this amazing idea for a project, but everything is taking longer than you expected. That happens too. Maybe your friend introduced you to her literary agent, but the agent just isn't interested in your book. This is really common. Bottom line, we all go through discouraging experiences. Ultimately, we all have to decide, am I gonna keep wallowing? or am I gonna dust off my shoulders, stand up and get back into saving the world? I hope you'll choose world saving and not wallowing. And I hope you'll make a list of the reasons why you began your project, your business, your journey, the reasons why you're here on earth, why you were born. And I hope you'll read that list back to yourself and remind yourself, I need to keep going. The world needs every ounce of love it can possibly get, every ounce of help, every ounce of courage, every ounce of you. Don't throw up your hands in defeat, stand up, adjust your strategy and try again. The world needs less wallowing and more world saving. So put your Wonder Woman cuffs back on and go get it. Oh, hi, this is my new vision board for the year. And what's funny is that last year's vision board, I actually never completed. Um, I always teach creating vision boards and last year during Miracle Week, which is one of my most popular free mini challenges, um, one of the exercises I gave them was to create a vision board. I tore out of magazines a bunch of images and just laid them on top of this board moved it to my basement, never finished it. And so when I went to create this year's vision board, I went down to the basement, found it, and all of the images, interestingly, that I tore out of the magazine were of beautiful gardens. And if you have followed Go Time TV, you know that during the pandemic, I totally transformed my backyard and now my front yard because being at home, as we know, darkness brought light and there's a lot of things that uh, were upgraded around here, including this office. Um, but I'll give you a peek at this year's vision board and what I put on here and why. I'm actually holding on here, something that fell off was a phrase that says rich lips and it was, it was taped right up here and it came off, I need to attach it. But to me, Rich lips means I make a living talking. So these are some rich lips, y'all. Um, I also am really excited to get back on airplanes. Uh, give me that vaccine. I've got my arm ready uh, because I am missing going places. And so there are quite a few travel destinations on here. Um, Banff, Lake Louise in Canada is high on the list. I gave the Silver Fox a trip to Banff for his birthday last year or our anniversary. I can't remember which one. Nevertheless, we're going. Um, I also um, put some things on here, the power of joy, because 
I'm all about, no matter where you are, being joyful and grateful for what you have. I did, however, if you notice right here in the middle, put all dressed up and some place to go. <laughs> I get dressed up at home, but I am going places. Um, and then this little light of yours, um, as a life coach, I, I hope to shine a light for others, but also help other people see their own light and bring that forth out into the world. Y'all know I like some bling. And there's just some, some women on here with attitude. There's also some beautiful images of intimate dinners. I can't wait to be with people again. Um, so that's my, my vision for 2021. Um, I've got this, I'm going places uh, joyfully. And I would love to invite you to create your own vision board. And something that I think is really helpful to think about is what are the top three things you want to experience? What are the top three ways you want to feel? And instead of going through magazines or searching for images online that represent things you want to consume or buy or, or have gifted to you, um, you want to think about it. For example, if the way you answered that is freedom, then pick out images that bring and evoke freedom from you when you see them. A vision board is a visual end game, but it's also the way you magnetize things to you is through emotion and how you feel. And so you want to make sure that any image on the vision board, um, when you look at it, brings up the feeling states of how you want to feel. If anything makes you feel anxious or bad or compare and despair, that should not go on your vision board. And that's my peek at my 2021 vision board. I still have room for a few more things. As you can see, it's a work in progress, but I would love to see yours. So feel free to tag me on social media and let me take a peek at your vision for your year. If this episode brought you any delight and joy, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every time we drop a new episode, which is weekly, you don't wanna miss it. It's go time.